Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scroller RPG. Yeah, this is our development vlog and in last lesson we were learning how to give some animations to our character when he was running and today we're going to make a script that lets our camera follow our player independently. So let's get right to it. So I'm going to be using iTween, so that's something I want to get. I want to make sure I have iTween. I don't have it. So we're going to go to the assets tool. I think it's not the first time I use iTween in one of my tutorials. I'm going to make a tutorial about iTween someday eventually. But for now, please follow along with me. And actually, you can go to iTween website to see the documentation. It's very easy to use. It's very good. If you just want to follow with me, just download the script. You don't need to input the samples. And we, we got it. Plugins, pixel placement, iTween. So we're going to use this class to do an animation for the camera to follow our, our player. So here in the main camera, I'm going to add a new component, follow target. I remember there was a class somewhere online called sm smooth follow. Uh, so I don't want to call it like that because I don't want people to get my script confused with that. So I'm just going to use this and we're going to open this in mono develop and you'll see how easy this comes out. So first of all, I'm going to make uh, very, and sorry, my voice is a little bit, I'm a little bit sick still, but hopefully my voice is going to come back to normal soon. Um, okay. So we make a, I'm going to make a public variable public uh, game object and this is going to be our player or may better the target okay because we call follow target so this is what we want to follow the the game object that we want to follow with the camera then we'll have some other variables uh, like for for example uh, uh, float and then follow speed okay so with iTween, we can use one line of code to animate the camera and make it follow the target very smoothly. So we are going to use something called move update and we have to place move update inside our update function. So we type iTween dot move update and we have to feed in some parameters. So the first parameter is the game object we want to move. And this is uh, just for making it more clear is this game object we want to move this game object we're going to attach this script to the camera so this game object is the camera and we want to have a itween dot hash table okay and we are going to put our parameters inside this hash table so first of all the position and we can give the target dot transform instead of doing target dot transform what we should rather do is instead of having a variable as a game object we just have it as a transform so later the target is just the target and we don't need to do anything else with that so the next parameter is the speed and we're going to set it as the follow speed and one last parameter is going to be the is type and the is type is going to be simply itween dot is type dot is in our sign okay so this is a very common curve for animation a very uh, default one now let's see what happens when we attach this script to the main camera we already have it here uh, we don't have a target so we're going to assign the target to this and we are going to also um, set a follow speed of one and now we can try this and you will see something happens you can see we're moving and the camera is following the player but the camera is following exactly on the position of the player and we just wanted to follow it on the x-axis but if you want to make this work with anything else we can make an offset so we're going to make a vector 3 uh, I'm gonna make it public vector 3 offset and this offset is just telling us how far away we are standing from the target when we're following it okay because this is a constant value so now instead of having the position as the target the transform we want to use the target dot position plus the offset we will set in the inspector 
and you will see how this works. I will play this and I should be following the player but when we start adding an offset so for example I increase the Y value you see the camera goes up and it stays up and if I make a negative value for the set you see the camera goes backwards and we can adjust this and we can adjust it real time or we can predefine it so it's very convenient and now if we move our camera follows our player sorry but I made a mistake earlier on uh, this should not be follow speed because actually this uh, type of movement in iTween does not have a speed parameter it just has a time parameter so we're going to rename this variable to follow time and this time is how much it takes for the animation to be completed so follow time and here we're going to replace follow time so now we can test this again with real results so if we select the player and we just um, all right uh, we set our offset and negative five something like that and if we set the time to one now you see it takes one second for the animation to catch up with the player position and if we have a time like for example five it's going to take much longer so the camera needs a long time to catch up so you can play with that so for example a uh, value of two will make it look like the camera is trying to catch up with the player and you have this effect like if you want to have a very fast character or something like that and the camera does not catch immediately with the player you can use that or if you want to have no time at all you just press zero and the camera is going to catch up immediately or if you have a very small value it's going to look a little bit smoother but still going to be quite fast so I like something about one and yeah that's how we use the follow time so anyway that's how we make a smooth follow for our player so right now the camera will follow us no matter where the direction we don't even need to have the camera uh, there and this will work for example if we want to have a, a pet in our game so I'm just going to create something like a sphere just just to show you guys let's make a sphere and I'm going to add the script to this sphere follow target and my target is going to be my player you see now the sphere is following us all the time Yeah, so we can do something like with this we can do some like effects if we want to follow uh, something to follow us maybe an enemy or something we can use this script and we can set some more variables but for now we will just use it on our camera so uh, that's it for this video it was quite short but I'm going to make more videos I don't want to go too into depth on each video so I can increase my developing speed on the next episode we're going to start seeing some combat and if we have more time, we're going to start seeing uh, the level up system, the experience, the stats and, and all of that amazing stuff. So thank you very much for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Peace.